Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome to a new video. So today I want to talk about something I found out about 3D printing and I want to talk about merging multiple volumes for 3D print because yeah, I'll tell you the story about it. So this is the character I made, the first uh, 3D print I, I've ever done and I had this big issue that, you know, for example, I modeled uh, the skirt here and it consists of several parts and of course you cannot print that because it's not a single volume so what I did was I I think I actually managed to um, merge them with the boolean tool here uh, yeah as you can see that's generated but that is especially in blender something that's almost impossible to do it always fails and at this level of complexity uh, complexity um, this is just it was just luck that I managed to do this. Now the other example I have is that character that I worked on. Um, so I think this is the file. Yeah, so look, just look at this body. It was impossible to use boolean to do this. I actually re did retopology on the entire model. And I think there is an, an, another file. We can see this better. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, see, this is the file where I did all the retopology. This was an incredible amount of work. I think I, I did three uh, all-nighters, I pulled three all-nighters and uh, finished this within one week. But not the modeling itself, just the retopology. And I all the time I thought there had to be a software that could fix that and do it easier. There was just one I found um, at that time, which was called mashup which uh, I think it wasn't even released yet and it's still in pre-order I think and also it costs something and I didn't want to work with it but then um, I found this software here called Autodesk Mesh Mixer and this one solves all my problems so take a look at this one here I have this um, part from um, my first character and I'm going to import those those three parts you see one two and let's take the third one in all right and now look at how easy it is to merge these three together i'm simply going to take these first two and say boolean union and then i'm going to accept it it takes a few seconds but way less time than it took blender to do this and then again with the with those two objects and there we go we have now one object uh, that has all three of these meshes in it now of course it is possible that this is not printable yet so I'm going to select it say in spectator or something and how do you do this I, I'm wearing new GS software myself apparently there Last time I did that, it found a few errors and I expected it to do the same thing again. Well, apparently um, there weren't any problems, but normally if you do that, um, you get here some marks where you can fix it and then you just hit auto repair and it does everything for you. Um, yeah, it's that simple. And then you can export it and by the way, the software, you can get it for free. Of course, I didn't read all the, um, you know, those terms of use and such. I don't know what you can use it for and what not, or if there is anything uh, you have to take care of. But let's take a look at the same thing now within Blender. I just exported as an OBJ. And I'll import it here again, and let's see how it turns out. So. Mm, so apparently there's one part missing. Well, let's still check the... I'll activate the 3D print toolbox and do a check on... Um, well, actually, I wouldn't have needed to do that. Uh, well, it is a solid mesh. That's all I wanted to know. You could also use Control alt shift m to see if it is manifold. But there is no problem with that, as you can see. Uh, so it's... A single mesh. Let's see why that didn't work before. I'm not so sure about that myself. Hmm, because last time it did it, it did work. 
a bit differently though. Um, let's go back a few steps. Let's re-import it and it shouldn't take too long anyways. Um, while it does the merging stuff, I will then show you the website very quick so you can um, find it yourself. Let's merge those first and very quickly get the next one in. Alright, let's merge these ones as well. So here's the website on uh, www.123dapp.com it's nice sandbox and then there is down here is second one mesh mixer it's generally a software part of the 123d series there are lots of apps here um, apparently it is not uh, one of these finished apps because you know you have the uh, 3d scan software and such here um, yeah it's a bit here and a bit hard to find I think but this is the link to it hopefully it will still be there when you look at it um, yeah let's accept that and of course it runs also on Mac and Windows which is also great because I always had the problem that it only ran on Windows oh no, it crashed and I couldn't use it also what was really cool is that it restores the files for you which is a good thing um, let's see now Let's export this again to um, somewhere to my desktop. See, I hope this is the second version. Maybe it could also be that this is still the first one it re recovered, which had this problem. No, it's probably still the same so, uh, since it had the same file size. Oh, I exported it. Oh well, now I overwrote that file. Well, anyways, I think you get the point. It does all kind of merging stuff really well, and you see, just for demonstration purposes, I'm I'm just drawing in now a random object, and it merges it extremely well. It should be printable like that. Oh well, I, I'm not sure if that's printable, but let's scale it down a bit again. But it should be printable and then you have analysis tools and you can inspect it oh wait wait where is the, the object oh, apparently you have to accept it okay now it's in there and then you can analyze it apparently there is no problem with it and of course you can print it as well if you have a supported printer and the 3d autodesk 3d print utility or something installed so all kind of cool things. I wish I knew about that earlier because that would have saved me a couple of weeks um, very boring uh, re-topology work. I hope this helps you with your 3D prints and you find that interesting and I will continue to record some videos uh, which I will upload soon. So you can look forward to that. Um, still not sure when those will be finished though. Yeah, so see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, and work quick just to prove it this really worked. I redid that progress. So there are the, the three parts and let's do very quick the analysis. So you see this is how it should look. You can then say auto repair. Now it should be 3D printable. Now let's export it to my desktop. Untitled as yes, doesn't matter for now. Let's go back to Blender and import and OBJ and take that until to OBJ. And now there should be this object. Here it is. It is 3D printable. These connections are not bad. It does not have any intersections. And it is, yeah, let's check for any open uh, volumes. So it is a printable object, uh, everything looks okay.